to all of you. And here is a beautiful problem linking probability with coordinate geometry. Good afternoon, all of you. And here is a beautiful problem linking probability with coordinate geometry. Real numbers AB are chosen from minus 1 to 1. Find the chance that this line meets parabola. Now, clearly, we can think of B axis and A axis just to pictorially get a feel. And A can move from minus 1 to 1. And we can pick up B from again minus 1 to 1. So, in fact, A and B I can pick up anywhere from this square. So, A and B is treated as an ordered pair of point. So, if we we'll take any point A comma B, it will come from this window, right? Okay, so we have the reason of A and B, this is square. Next is we want this line to meet this curve. It means x square equals ax plus b should give real root. So, x square minus ax minus b equals 0 must give real root. So, t is greater than equal to 0. So, b square plus 4b should be greater than equal to 0, which gives... 4b is greater than equals minus a square and translates to minus a square by 4. And now b equals minus a square by 4, we can plot very easily. So let's take a value of a is 0. First, let's plot the equality case on a and b axis. You can assume a to be x axis for filling and b you can treat this as y axis. So basically, we want y equal to minus x by a square by 4. So at x equals 0, we have 0. At x equals minus 1 we have minus 1 by 4 okay so how the parabola will look like at x equals 1 is still by symmetricity will have minus 1 by 4 now we want y to be it means b to be greater than that it means y coordinate should be more than this so we have at this point for this x y coordinate is equal to this i want above this so finally the reason we are getting is this is a desired sample size divided by total area of a square now calculation of this is not difficult because we can simply calculate the area of this parabolic section okay with the s-axis and we can make it twice and add half of this square so what is this area we can see this area is same as area of x square by 4 when x is integrated from 0 to 1 right? because this area is exactly symmetric so if this area is delta this has to be delta and that gives you x cube by 3 into 4 from 0 to 1 which goes to 1 by 12 right so since this is 1 by 12 so hence both area becomes 1 by 6 so this is delta so delta plus delta is 1 by 6 and then I have to add 1 into 2 so 1 by 6 plus 2 equals 13 by 6 so 13 by 6 is our desired simple space the highest area divided by area of s square is going to be 4 is 2 into 2 so hence the answer to our problem is 13 by 24 it was easy problem but the point was how to translate the information into geometry